Formula One is the most competitive sport. The speed at which things are turned around, um, the passion and sort of ferocity of some of the engineers that work in it is, is just phenomenal. And having that, um, that extreme visibility that if something isn't correct, 200 million people are going to see it on a Sunday going wrong and um, you have to be pretty confident in, in the things that you do. I think from my perspective, I didn't know very much about the sport coming into it. I probably shared that prejudice, um, that it was a very profligate sport, it burned fossil fuels for fun. Formula One racing is, is really all about efficiency um, because any extra performance you can get from a milliliter of fuel um, is going to translate into less weight that you have to carry around the track. Um, so it's, in a sense, it, it really epitomizes through engineering how you can sort of become the most efficient system possible. In October 2009, Williams Formula One announced that um, in partnership with the Qatar Science and Technology Park, um, it would be setting up a technology center um, in Qatar um, and I've taken up the role as general manager of that facility. The purpose of the center is to take technologies that have their origin in Formula One and explore commercial opportunities outside of motorsport. And Thomson Reuters intelligent information is going to become a part of my day-to-day -day life. Um, initially, I'm going to be supervising um, two focus teams, one looking at commercializing our very advanced simulator technology, the other looking at developing large-scale flywheel technology. In both of those, there's a lot of intellectual property locked up in it. There's a lot of um, commercial considerations that we have to take into account. And I think having intelligent information available um, is something that will really allow me to understand um, the global landscape in both of those fields and make the right judgment calls. Yeah.